Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to Country Coffee Chats with Cheryl, presented by More Voices. I'm your host, Cheryl Christy Bowman, the owner, editor, and primary content provider for More Voices. More Voices is an internet blog dedicated to covering politics in Moore County and the surrounding Sand Hills area. You can find it on the internet at www.morevoices.net. Fair warning, it is more liberal than most political commentary, certainly coming out of Moore County and the rest of the Sand Hills, so don't say you weren't warned. So I'm home. Y'all got my court clothes off, got my pajamas back on, um, in case you're wondering if I had anything else planned today. Um, got to court this morning, and, and the first thing I want to do is thank everyone who came out and, and to support me. Um, I was humbled by the support that I, I, I got today, and also to all of you guys who sent me private messages wishing me luck and texts and 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 all of that you know kind of stuff I want I want to thank you all um but it's not over Mr. Peterson asked for and was granted a continuance on the case and the next court date is now December 28th now I'm I'm curious it, Mr. Peterson is so afraid of me and so emotionally distraught by me that he's seeking an order from a judge to restrain me from contacting him. And he's so terrified he's okay to wait more than a month for his fears to be heard and a contact, no contact order to be issued. Does that make any sense to y'all? You know, when his lawyer got up and asked for the continuance, I asked to speak, and I, I made a very strong objection to a continuance. You know, Mr. Peterson took out or attempted to get a restraining order on, on me on November 14th. That restraining order was denied, and yet I still had to go to court and defend myself against this lunatic's ravings, Okay. I drove to Moore County myself. Well, I don't drive, but my <laughs> my husband drove me down to Moore County on Wednesday to pick up the summons so that I would be sure to be on co at court on time today. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning and got my butt ready, drug my sick hind in across three counties, and sat for an hour and a half in a courtroom because Mr. Peterson's playing some kind of sick game. And the judge agrees, I guess, that he's allowed to do that. Now, if Mr. Peterson's motive here is to hope that I eventually will get tired and stop coming to court and he will be awarded the protective order based on me not showing up while well, he's in for a really rude awakening because they can delay this thing till Christ comes back and I'm going to be at every single court hearing I am going to be there with bells on I am going to be there with all of my evidence that I will be presenting to the court I will be there with my witnesses who can back up the evidence I am presenting to the court and I will have my supporters with me every time now there seemed to be some confusion about my case and how it relates to a different restraining order criminal, you know, with with a, with a different victim. With okay, I'm not involved in that other than I reported on it. But they've his lawyer seems to want to lump my case in with that one. Justice delayed, but there's not going to be justice denied. And the truth is, I was going to go kind of easy today. I got up this morning, I wasn't feeling all that well. Okay. And I decided I was going to do, I was going to defend myself. But I was not going to drag all the, the, the statements out. I wasn't going to drag all the witnesses. I wasn't, I wasn't going to do any of that. I wasn't going to talk about, you know, how Mr. Peterson has... I don't know how many internet troll accounts and how this man who's so scared of me contacted me on November 20th. He wants no contact order on me. But he's so scared of me that he sent me a tweet 
two days before he sought a restraining order. When I saw the tweet, I answered the accusation, the false allegation he made in that tweet. And then he's so scared of me. He tweeted back at me on November 20th, six days after he told law enforcement that he was so scared of me that he needed a no contact order. This shouldn't even be about a no contact order. If Mr. Peterson is upset about things I have written about him or things that I have said about him, he's welcome to sue me for libel or defamation. I would welcome that case. I would welcome it. I would welcome it. Now, I'm done ranting. I hope every one of you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy your, your family. Enjoy your turkeys. Uh, you know, um, enjoy the football. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Okay? Again, I want to thank everybody who came out and supported me today. It, 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 it's, it's, it was wonderful. I, it just made me feel so cared for, and I just want everybody to know how much I truly appreciated it. December 28th, 9.30 a.m., I'll be there. With any luck, he won't be able to use the system. The judge will not allow him to use the system to continue to delay me and force me to keep coming back to this bullshit hearing. I'll talk to y'all later.